What's good, people? Welcome back. We have another OU Live after what feels like pretty long. And this is actually like a lot of UU Mons on this team. So I was going a little overboard with the creativity and stuff. You know, I just wanted to bring something that's a little more like completely not standard. Again, you know, it's OU Creative Teams Live. So unstandard team, I got a Choice Scarf uh, Hydreigon. This was Flamethrower. I changed it to Earth Power better against like Toxapex and Heatran. A Mega Altaria, I think that's really fun and underused in OU. I think it has a niche, uh, and that's kind of what I wanted to uh, like shine a light on. Uh, Choice Specs, Tabu Koko, pretty basic. Celestela, pretty basic. Uh, a Hippodon, uh, mixed wall, but mostly physical. Uh, good for whirlwinding out Holluchas and stuff, so they lose their unburdened boost and uh, setting up rocks and stuff. And a Crawdon, Adamant with Substitute. I know the normal set would be to run with, uh, I just see what I can name this, Mega Altaria. Uh, I know the normal set is to run with something like Swords Dance, uh, but I think Substitute is like a fun option with Latarium Z, which is another cool thing. So it's kind of cool because you can kind of uh, force things out with uh, fear of Aqua Jet or fear of knockoff or something, and then uh, whatever comes in can't knock it out because he's behind a sub. Maybe I can knock him out with a Aqua Jet or Waterium Z or something along those lines. So it should be fun. So here we see uh, extremely, extremely basic team with the Mammoth Swine. He is going straight to the top. Uh, I feel like he would want to lead Lando probably. And I think I just want to get up my rocks versus him maybe. Hmm. I think lead something like Magirna, yep. Uh, if he shift gear, this could be bad. Uh, he might just want to go straight for an ice beam, uh, which I think is the most likely, but I also kind of want to just get my rocks up and Hippodon doesn't wall too many things in this matchup. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have like Toxic or anything, right? Yeah, I don't really have Toxic, so I can't really Toxic the Lando. Uh, I'll probably take one Icicle Crash from Mamo, maybe. Uh, I can't really touch the Zapdos. <laughs> I like Magirna is probably the best thing for Hippodon to be in on. Uh, Toxapex is another thing that can get like earthquaked and stuff. Uh, and I can switch around with Whirlwind so like he can't, I don't know, like set up a sub on something. So just getting on my rocks there is fine. And uh, hmm. I could take this opportunity probably to go Celestela would be my best play, I assume. Uh, I am HP Fire on Coco. Uh, I think Celesteel is my best play though. I, I think it's my only play really. And Flamethrower is super obvious. Uh, so I think he might want to go out into his Toxapex maybe. I don't actually have Defog on this team. <laughs> so that's dumb of me. Uh, that's what you get for not checking your teams. And yeah, I think I just want to go Leech Seed on the Toxapex. Because maybe maybe Zapdos could be a play, but uh, yeah, pro probably Zapdos or Toxapex. If he wants to set up his uh, his Toxic Spikes, I would assume Toxapex. And if he wants to just go for damage, maybe Defog away the rocks, but I don't know why he would Defog right after he set up a Spike. Uh, I guess if he really wanted to, he could go Lando and try to get up his own rocks and just like out hazard me. But I feel like flamethrower is too obvious of a play to, uh, like I feel like it's too safe of a play for you to stay in with Ferrothorn. Yeah, so uh, send out a leech seed. Thankfully we hit that and I can just protect and get some big chip off on Zapdos. Yeah, all right. That was a good play uh, on his part going for the roost. It was pretty free. Uh, if he's HP Ice, uh, 
uh, going Altaria could be bad. And Altaria really uh, is going to be a win con against this team because he can pretty much run through everything. Uh, I don't have Roost on Coco, so I can't beat Zapdos. I honestly don't have many Zapdos counters on this team. <laughs> I mean, that's what you get when you run a team like this. You run that risk. Uh, I might just want to go straight for a Whirlwind. Yeah, so he switches out into Mamoswine. Whirlwind and back, get some chip off on something. <clears throat> I can Earthquake this. I'm like, I'll take that chip. <laughs> Like, if you want to, like, you can Toxic me. There's not a whole lot I do in this matchup. And I feel like uh, switching is the obvious play. Switching into something like Lando, so I'll just Whirlwind him out. Because if I Earthquake, you lose your Toxapex. Uh, which is just... And, like, you can't go Magirna. I don't think you'd go Ferrothorn. I assume he would either go out into Zapdos or uh, Lando. Or maybe make the Mamoswine play again. But I don't think he wants to risk damage on Mamoswine, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep whirlwinding. Uh, right here, he'll probably want to set up his rocks. Uh, is he Z-move on Mamoswine? He might be a setup Z-Magirna, because he has the Ferrothorn, which is probably special, especially defensive. Uh, and then Magirna might be Z-move, so Hippodon might actually be really helpful for Magirna. Uh, I can go out into, I don't want to risk the Crawdon. Yeah, Crawdon would be a bad play. I don't think he Earthquakes here, so I could go Tapu Coco, but I don't have HP Ice. Uh, I'm going to make the Altaria play. Hopefully he's not Rocky MZ. HP Ice is a really good play, uh, but I should outspeed and I have Roost, which is and it's no longer four time. I don't think that killed without the crit. Uh, he's Scarf, so that sucks. Uh, at least we know that and get behind a sub with Crawdon. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have risked the Altaria, but I, I really didn't think HP icing was the play there, because I could have gone Tapu Koko, I could have gone Celesteel, I honestly expected him to set up rocks. Uh, so I think I'd just go straight for the sub, I don't think. Yeah. I didn't really want to waste the Waterium Z uh, in case he didn't go out into his Zapdos. So he loses his leftovers. Uh, I want to calc if Waterium Z will kill this against a Ferrothorn. So knockoff should do, yep, that's the amount Hydro Vortex will do, 39 minimum. So we don't kill. I think the safe play is probably Celestela, uh, but that also might be really obvious. Uh, and he might just make the double into Zapdos, honestly. Uh, can I bring this in on anything? I can bring this in on Toxapex. Uh, I think the double out to Zapdos is his most obvious play. I kind of want to go Tapu Coco and then Dazzling Gleam. But I'm going to go into Celestela. If he doubles, that's a good play. All right. Uh, on his Zapdos, I want to... This stinks that I don't have Merit Mega Altaria. Because that was like my big win con. So this is gonna make the match like that much harder. I think I wanna make the double out to Hydreigon. I'm gonna have Yikes, he might be Protect. Power Whip, maybe. Uh he can go Magirna here. Or Toxapex, yeah. So I wanted to U-turn out, so that he couldn't get uh, Magirna out. And I get up a sub versus this. Or I can just go straight for the knockoff, which might be my better play. Because that ensures uh, Ferrothorn goes down, I believe. Because I think I'll kill him with two knockoffs, yeah. So 
all this chip sucks, but you know, that's what you gotta deal with when you lose your all Terria because you're an idiot. Uh, so I guess we'll find out if this is Assault Vest here. Uh, I oh, I actually might be faster than him. If he tries to set up, he won't be able to. Uh, because I'm actually faster and kill him with the Hydro Vortex. Thank you, Crawdon. You are the man. I appreciate you. <laughs> and if he goes Lando, uh, I assume he's going to Earthquake, U-Turn. I think U-Turn's a good play for him. So what I can do is... Because Aqua Jet will be able to kill him later. Aqua Jet will be able to take out the Mammoth Swine. I can knock off on the Toxapex if he kills me. So I think I want to save this because I'll live one spike. So I don't... If anything, I think he U-turns, which will do big damage to Hydreigon. But if he Earthquakes, then I'm safe. And he no longer has Magirna. So Dark Pulse is looking tasty. Draco Meteor is looking tasty. Uh, I think I might just go straight for a Draco. Yeah, like, Toxapex won't appreciate that, and that's fine, honestly. Uh, Dark Pulse might have been the better play because he can't really, he doesn't really threaten me offensively. So... Yeah, I think Dark Pulse was the better play because he doesn't threaten me offensively and I could go for flinches. But I think he just goes for... I, that's fine. Uh, I wonder if we live one, honestly. Depending on what kind of Mammoth Swine he is, I think. And Hippodon is helpful, but if I can get rid of Mammo and Lando... Uh, and I kind of just want to see what kind of memo he is. Celesteela might wall him. I might take two. I'm going to make this play just in case. Uh, oh, gosh, we munch on that. He might be Metronome Mamoswine, which is pretty popular, because I don't see any damage there. And that lets you get up some extra damage every turn. So... I think I want to make the Hydreigon play, expecting him to... All right, that's fine. Uh, I can just U-turn out here. Uh, and that was just in case he wanted to switch out to something. Uh, Hippo, again, is helpful, but like, I don't necessarily know how helpful. Like, he, he mostly just comes in and walls things. Yeah, so he'll absorb a toxic. Uh, I can either Earthquake, expecting him to stay in, or switch to Mamoswine, or I can go for the Whirlwind. And I think I just want to go for the Earthquake. Zapdos comes, oh, if I would have Whirlwinded, that would have been so good because next time Zapdos switched in, he would have died. Dang, I wish I would have made the Whirlwind play. Uh. I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake. I don't know why he let me do that. Because I don't necessarily need this. Uh, I think he's probably Metronome. So I'm just going to go straight out into my Celesteela and make the Heavy Slam play. Oh, I don't have very much time, I just noticed. Yeah. So we have plus defense now. That lets the Zapdos out. I'm pretty sure he's just going to roost here. I'm bold, dude. He's going to roost, yeah. So <laughs> I knew he was making the play. Uh, <laughs> so I can sack Crawdon, which I don't want to do because he knocks off the Toxapex and Aqua Jets the Ferrothorn. Or the, the Lando, what am I saying? Uh, Hydreigon, I don't know if Zap... I mean, unless Zapdos is Hidden Power Ice, he won't be doing too much. I think I want to make the... 
a dragon play because I think he's gonna roost here. He discharges, please don't. All right, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for Dark Pulses. I'm gonna make another. I'm gonna go for the flinch. Oh, it, it's only doing 25. That's not much. Uh, I'm gonna go for another one just in case he, yeah, tries to switch out. Nice. Uh, and that's awesome. Cause now that Zapdos is out of the way, uh, Crawdon might just be able to clean up and we're faster than that. So we can Aqua Jet and knock off. Uh, actually, I'm gonna come out here and Leech Seed. I don't want to risk anything uh because knockoff's not going to kill toxapex at this range and i need a little bit of chip off on it uh so what i need to do is flamethrower so i can burn him here let me just go up doing 13 yeah so i want to burn him here that's awesome <laughs> first turn burn all right so now we just uh protect and we just let the chip take him down uh if he switches into Memo, he's going to lose. If I really want to play aggressively here, I can make the uh, Tapu Lele play. But I, I think the safe thing is to just stay in and protect. At this point, I think I don't really think there's a chance we lose. Uh, unless I like make some really stupid plays. <clears throat> but I don't want to... No, I don't want to play stupid and risk something dumb. So, like, if I was him, I would probably forfeit the match here because he's just stalling himself out of stuff. Did he just... Oh, when did he... Oh, how long have rocks been up on my side of the field? I just noticed them. So, Crawdon actually does go down. Ooh... I'm an idiot. How long have rocks been up? They've probably been up there forever and I just didn't notice. Why am I so dumb? Alright, well, I definitely know that he... Uh, he's gonna recover on this play. And if he goes out into Lando, then I can just sack my Crawdon. Because there are rocks and spikes. I swear, the rocks have probably been up there. He set up rocks with Mamoswine so long ago. I don't know why I didn't... Like, I didn't even factor that into... I'm so dumb. So I can just go... Uh, sack my Crawdon on this play. And that makes it so next time... Uh, well, there's nothing he can go for that'll kill Celestela. So Celestela will be able to kill his Lando... Uh, unless he wants to flinch me to death. So, crits me. All right, he doesn't get the flinch, though. So, that should be GG. Uh, so, I, I'm so dumb. I mean, I, I, I think I still played the end right enough. That is, uh, the Dark Pulse on the Switch to Zapdos was pretty big. But, like, I don't know. I'm, like... I'm not, I'm still not super used to like talking to the camera like while I'm playing my matches and stuff. So I was like, I'm trying to think of multiple things and I'm trying to talk about, like speak my mind of what's going on and play at the same time. So I'm like totally lost. Talon Flame is something cool. I like this. This almost looks like a, uh, a little bit like a Oras team. Uh, the Curum is definitely dangerous. Uh, good thing we can drop a Draco on it, but we have to watch out for the Tapu Lele to sponge the Dracos. Uh, I kind of want to lead Celesteela, expecting a Curum to come out, and I kind of just want to... I'm going to lead Hydreigon, expecting the Curum. Talonflame's interesting, because uh, I think he... I think he goes for the uh, Supersonic Sky Strike here. I'm going to switch Celesteela expecting that. And hopefully, yeah. And then I can go into Hippo and set up rocks probably. Uh, and this is actually really great news because that means his Curum is not Free Shock, 
which is the most like overpowered uh like just one of the most overpowered moves in OU like a Z free shock like pretty much nothing lives it uh Celestela takes massive amounts and I was thinking he might want to lead Kirim and go straight for the free shock so I was thinking lead Celestela and uh go for the protect but it was like if he set up a sub on my protect, I was in a bad spot. So I wanted to go Hydreigon and pressure him to switch out if he did lead Kyurem. Uh, so Rotom comes out and I'm actually looking at his team and he doesn't have any ground types. So Volt Switch, Choice Specs, Tapu Koko is going to ruin him. Uh, I might want to go Hydreigon on this or I might just want to set up my Stealth Rocks. Uh, but he would just defog them right away. So Rotom is actually something I have a lot of trouble with on this team. So I'm gonna go Hydreigon, expecting the Willow. Yeah, and I kinda just wanna go for a U-turn, but that could really screw me. So I, if he stays in, I want damage off on this. And if he switches out to Toxapex, then that's fine. Yeah, so. That's big because I really needed damage off on the Rotom, so uh, plus one on Altaria will outspeed and will kill will kill this now. Uh, getting my rocks up will be big to break the Talon Flames, uh, whatever you call it, you know. So sub is something he could very well do. Uh, How important, <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking like, how important is my Hydreigon in this match? Because pretty much any time this thing comes out, it's like, all right, well, it's time to lose something. Uh, I just want to go straight for a Dark Pulse, like denying a sub if he wants to do that, yeah. So we get big damage off on this and he doesn't end up with a sub, which allows Tapu Lele to come back out and revenge kill this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I can do but he's almost definitely switching out. And is he leftovers? Yeah. So I'm gonna Volt switch out, which is kind of an aggressive play. But I think like, I definitely need to keep my Tapu Koko safe. And if he wants to go out into Toxapex expecting the Dazzling Gleam or something, like this is going to, I have to Dazzling Gleam. Cause if he wants to stay in, like, I'm just gonna start losing mons left and right. So I have to Dazzling Gleam. If he switches out to Toxapex, like, I guess good prediction, but like, I can't have this thing uh, just being a big threat to my team. So it's right in front of me, I just have to attack it. I don't want to over predict anything. And I don't think he wants to switch because he doesn't switch into Volt Switch at all. And he probably sees that. Alternatively, let me see how much uh, my Thunderbolt is doing to cure him. Uh, Sub-Zero Salame. My Thunderbolt is doing 41 to 48, so that's roll. Yeah. Yeah, I, I needed to get rid of Kirim uh, because now I can Volt Switch freely. Uh, Low Punny is sitting in the back being really scary, but... I think uh, Hippodon and Celestela will hopefully be able to at least check it and chip it enough to uh, beat it. So I feel like HP Fire is pretty obvious right here, but I don't really want to uh, predict anything. And I think Celestela is always going to be my play because nothing switches into uh, that. Like, there's nothing I could have switched into to take that, honestly. So Rotom might be the play. Talonflame is great because this doesn't allow him to... Uh, he, he won't have his Gale Wings anymore, but... Mm, I'm afraid of a sword stance on this play. Uh, 
you could also just go straight for a uh, Flare Blitz, but he decides to switch into his Rotom, which is... I, I don't know if he just keeps catching me on that switch or if that's just the play he wants to make. So I kind of want my rocks up. <laughs> and I might just do that because uh, nothing on my team wants to be burned. I might be able to go into Coco and uh, Thunderbolt him. Let's see. Wii U defensive, Tapu Coco, Thunderbolt will kill him, but like, I don't want him, like, I don't want him hydro pumping on me. You know? So, how fast is that Rotom? 222? That is faster than me. Yeah, I'm gonna set up my Stealth Rocks, because I don't. Fortunately, he puts me right away. I think that matters, honestly, because I'm super bulky. Uh, but he doesn't switch into Thunderbolt at all, or Volt Switch. And Volt Switch should do 64 min. So, uh, just getting like unlucky with some critical hits. Like, I don't think the HP Ice from Lando would have killed my Mega Altaria after one Mega evolving and two, losing the flying typing, so that HP Ice is only neutral effective, uh, which really changed last match. So, uh, that just stinks, honestly. I can bring out... Uh, Rodon, maybe? Does that invite in the low pony? I, I guess Crawdon invites in the low bunny. Uh, and then he can just high jump kick. So I'm going to go Celesteela. Uh, I assume his play would be to go Talonflame. Yeah. And on Talonflame, how much does Altaria take on Talonflame? Uh, oh, you offensive. Let's see. Are you adamant? I would be adamant. Brave Bird. What about once you Mega Evolve? Does that change much? Yeah, he added, he'd be 2 8 KO'd. Uh, I do need this though. So I'm going to go for Crawdon, and I live one Flare Blitz, and I can Aqua Jet him for a kill because he no longer has the priority. So. What he can do is switch to Tapu Lele here, and I don't know if I want to predict that. If I'm a man, I'll predict that, but I'm not a man, so I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet. Actually, I'm a man. Oh, I'm a beast. <laughs> yes. Oh, with Toxapex. Oh. Well, I mean, it's still a play, you know? <laughs> I'm going to substitute because I don't think he can do anything to break my sub, then I can just knock him off. I was so excited. I was like, he's definitely going to switch out. He's going to fear this Aqua Jet. He's going to go into his Tapu Lele to take nothing from it. Oh, bro, that's not a good play. You should not risk your low punny like that. And I'm going to Aqua Jet to keep my sub. Because uh, low punny was really good against my squad. Uh, I feel like Talonflame might have been the sack. Yeah, quick attack. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, if he sets up Psychic Terrain, I I can still Aqua Jet the Talon Flame if he sets up. Ta uh, I can still Aqua Jet the Talon Flame if he sets up Psychic Terrain because Talon Flame is floating, and uh, this has got to be the easiest HP Fire or Double Switch of his life, or Thunderbolt, whichever he has. But I can't make a play there. Uh, I kind of want to protect and get HP back, but I expect him to switch uh, because this will not kill me and I can heavy slam him for the kill. And that is just about a wrap. Uh, so long as, even if, even if he sword stances on his Talon Flame, I still have Aqua Jet in the back, which I think will one hit kill Talon Flame. So the only thing I have to do is make sure he doesn't get back up to full health to re-get his Gale Wings. 
and with Celesteel, I'll, I can just constantly heavy slam him so that he has to kill me. And he would have to kill me with Flare Blitz, which would do some chip damage to him anyway. So with that, we actually get two wins with the team. And uh, I really wish I <laughs> would have gotten that switch out to uh, Tapu Lele with the Waterium Z. But I'm going to wrap it up there for the episode because we're getting on half an hour. So those were two kind of long games. But I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And stay sweet. Oh, unfortunately, Mega Altaria actually didn't do anything in this life. I might have to make another Mega Altaria team and try to show it off. But Crawdon was showing its worth. <laughs>